What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat and I am here with the next episode of Sticks, Master of Shadows. So I've been trying to bypass on killing people a lot, but at the same time, it's really, really nice to have that coverage, like off the backboard, knowing full well that you've killed everybody in a room so that you don't have to worry about it if you have to run away from somebody or anything. That's typically my motivation for just being a murderous slob the entire time. We've got a couple of chandeliers here that we can make use of. I don't know if this guy's going to want me to break him out or how this is going to go, but for now, I feel like I'm missing a lot of coins. Like, is this the final objective that we have? Or do we still have a lot more to do? So he's down in here. Yeah, I think this is like the last thing we're going to do. Let's see here, close the landing stage. I haven't really been using my eyes to look for any of the thief signals or anything either, so... That could be another problem with this whole thing. Thief signal right there, but I already knew about that hole, so it's not that big of a help. There's a guy right there. Is anybody through that door? And also, does he move around? Of that, I am not sure. There's somebody walking around over there, too. I can hear him. Let's go talk to the old man first. We'll figure it out after that point. I don't see any reason to put myself at risk right now. We'll figure it out. Let's just get the talking and the jabbering done with. So I don't know if I'm supposed to kill him, or like how this is supposed to go. So you're Hector? Thought you'd be taller. We got an appointment. Oh! Oh! Oh, damn, you're... Shit! I didn't expect... Sorry. Uh, yes, yes, it's me, Hector. Yeah. Nice to meet you too, shorty. I was told that you could help me find the maps of the Atrium. <laughs> Indeed, yes. And before I take you there, you should take a look at this scale model. You see, Querberus, the architect of this damned tower, built in mechanisms as weird as himself. And it seems as though this model has something to do with the plans. Let's take a look. Uh, what are these inscriptions? Come on, come on. I'll guide you as far as possible. Above all, don't get too close to me. I don't fancy being killed. So wait, where are we going? Out there. Uh, I'd like to be a lot higher, to be honest. I mean, as with all things in life, I would definitely be a lot happier if I was higher up off the ground. I'm gonna try and get under this desk before anything else terrible happens. I knew I should have killed all these guys before I left. I knew it. Alright, we'll stand her here. Who even knows what kind of treasure and shit I'm missing? My eyes are burning. Your eyes are burning? I don't know, stop rubbing them so much. I don't know, that's what my mom used to say. Like whenever you had like eye aches and stuff. They'd be all red and you just make them worse by itching them. And you put the eye drops in, you can feel them seeping into like all the little crevices in your eye, and you be like, ah, like, ah. Hector, what are you doing? Why have they hidden this book away at the end of the corridor? It's strange. You can't even have a look. It's done on purpose, you gullible bastard. There are books like that. Mustn't read what's written inside. It's full of curses. It's something that will give you horns on your ass or peeling balls. Peeling Seriously. balls, dear God. Well, better not stay here. That sounds like the worst thing ever. But what is it? All right, we got him. We're good. Whoa. I reacted that one quick. Hopefully he's the only guard up here. I thought we had failed the second that he saw us. I thought that was... Oh my god. You're so violent, Sticks. You're so violent. Well, hopefully he's not leaving us here. It looks like he's holding his position, so we should be okay. 
Where are these guards at? Okay, so there's one right there. Apparently he's decided to get drunk or something. He's got an amber flask though, and I think I'm out of amber, so that might help. Okay, so I got one, but I definitely like another. Is that the only guard? That can't be. I thought I saw two. I'd swear I saw two. Hmm. Alright, well, let's just sneak up on him. I'm gonna steal the amber flask if I can. I don't see that other guard anywhere. I probably should have stole the amber flask, huh? I said I was going to and then I didn't. Yup. Oh well. Such is the story of my life. I think I probably missed a coin back here when I was trying to rush behind. I thought we were going to fail the mission if we got too far from him, but it seems like he holds back until you go. And so I'm not even going to stress about it. This guard is still back here. Where did the other one go? Okay, so he's right there. And does he go back to sleep, or what does he do? Or is he just patrolling now? Okay, he's patrolling. I'll probably take this guy then. And we'll just make it work. As long as he doesn't cry out, we should be okay. That sounds like a horribly sadistic thing to say out loud, but whatever. I'm a little green killing machine. I can't be stopped. Don't stop me now. Throw that up there. Because I'm having a good time. Having a good time. Might be worth having a look over in there. Gotta be I'm going to be careful not to bump any chairs right now. But yeah, it looks like I should probably be over there somewhere. I'm not totally convinced he can't see me when I'm like inside desks or whatever. It's not a hypothesis that I've ever tested, but it does frequently worry me. There's got to be a coin around here somewhere. There's no way they would have a... I mean, there was a coin up top, wasn't there? Or was that in another room? I don't know. My eyes are burning. Oh. Nothing over there. Anything back up in this little area? No. Well, I just wanted to investigate, and I guess... If we get to the end and I haven't found all the coins, I'll probably come back through by myself off camera and then I'll show you where I got it or something. But I don't really see like why I should be wasting so much time in one spot when I could just get going. Especially since I'm in here like killing random people that don't need to be killed. Alright. Well, whatever. Let's just go. Every time he does that, it throws me off. But seriously, how much can you complain about the same problem over and over again? Be calm. Be calm, man. It's going to be okay. I like this little hole right here. I mean, I don't know what purpose it serves, but... It's comfy. It's comfy and cozy. Makes my cheeks want to be nice and rosy. Because we're getting closer to the Christmas season. We're not quite there yet, but... Christmas is definitely, if it's not in the air, it's increasing the particulate. It's it's getting closer. It's increasing in particulate matter. I guess I can't climb up the bookshelves. Have a little look around here. Figure out where and where not things might be. Ooh, he turned the wrong direction at the wrong time. Hector's going to go up there. Okay. Let's suppose there's anybody else in here. Alright. Only thing I could see going wrong is if he, like, turns back this way, but... As long as he don't do that, we should be okay. There's another coin down there. I'm going to choke this guy out, and I'm going to dump him in that alcove over there. These little guys with their overwatch can be a big problem for me. 
and I don't like big problems. I prefer my problems to be very, very manageable and small. Minuscule, even, if it could be managed. I saw a coin down there. Somebody's sleeping around here, too. Can't see nothing right now. Got that guy right there. Is there anything up higher? Yeah, it looks like you can actually get up higher, too, but probably, yeah, it's all that over there. I don't have drop kill yet. I wish that I had drop kill, but I don't have drop kill yet. Does he turn around over here? I'm trying to learn his patrol real fast. Really not trying to lose the game at this point. There's definitely somebody else down there, but I can't see him, so whatever. Jump inside a pot and just wait till they all move around. I totally hear somebody else walking around, and it's not good. I think he's in that next room over. I have to be careful about the way that we accomplish this. I'll probably try and take this guy when he wanders down that way, and then I'll come back into this room and get whoever's there. We'll take the coin, and then we'll be on our merry way. All right. Thought I heard somebody draw their sword, but it might have just been me swapping to my dagger. Oh, he must be up above then. I don't see anybody here, but shit. I don't know. They could be just about anywhere. Grab that other coin. We're at 28, so two more left to go. I would hate, I really am going to hate myself if I have to backtrack this entire level to get another coin. Yeah, there's definitely somebody here. Where he's at, I'm not sure, but I hear him. He's got to be up above, like on the platforming up there. Probably take this dude, dump him over here, and then there's a climby point. Uh, it doesn't go all the way up, though. I wanted to get up to the top and see what's up there, but oh well. He's definitely up above us. He's, like, directly up above us right now. I can hear him. All right. Well, we'll deal with that in just a second. Whatever. I don't think it matters. My guess is that's going to hook around and take us back in there anyways. Ector's being a good guy and just hanging out for us. I love it when escort missions actually don't force you to escort anything. Right, let's turn out that torch. I don't suppose there was like a climbing point over here anywhere or anything. Nope, doesn't appear to be any way to get up higher. A violent I think acid. there's somebody up there, and I have no right to be in this area. Make sure he doesn't get in the way if you want me to open the door. A simple diversion should suffice, but if you were to kill them, do away with the bodies using these vials. <laughs> How delightful. Acid? Really? Is that part of a librarian's pencil box? What are we looking for in here? I know there's got to be at least a couple of roamers. Get rid of that from right there, and then we'll just wait and see what happens. Oh, yeah, there's a guy right there. Okay. There's probably somebody up top, too. So there's two guards. They're both marked. Okay. That's fine. Making the chandelier oh. fall should be a good diversion. Maybe I can throw a knife at it. Damn it. That is not what I wanted to happen. I said muffle kill, my friend. Muffle kill. We can't be discovered during this operation. <sighs> like, normally I wouldn't give a shit if somebody found a body. I'd just be like, oopsies. But in this case, whoopsie is not going to work. Like, we really, really need this to go off clean. As clean as possible. A cap, I guess. I could use a knife on him. I don't know if I'm feeling particularly nasty enough to waste a knife, though. I may just kill him, and then we'll melt his body and make sure that that doesn't happen. We gotta go down to the bottom and dispose of that too, so... It should all work out in the end, I hope. 
Alright, Muffle kill them. And I don't know if Ector's gonna come straight up, but whatever he decides to do. Did his oh I thought his foot fell off, but that was his quiver. I was like, oh my god. Wrenched his neck so hard that his foot fell off. That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Another one gone. That worked out great. I love this new tool. I'm probably going to use that like crazy once we get a little bit further. So this is a hiding place down here, but I don't know. We'll go look for it in a second. Hiding place. Ooh. All right. How was that? Oh, you should bring the book that Ozcan wants. Oh, I totally forgot we even had that objective. Okay. Awesome. All right. Whatever. It's a good thing they marked it on my map. Otherwise, eh, I would have noticed. I probably would have walked the hell away without even seeing it. Because I'm bad at video games, ladies and gentlemen. I am terrible at video games. Why they allow me to do this on YouTube, I don't even know. There should be, like, rallies with people inside, like, with signs and all kinds of, like, protests and things going on. But they keep letting me show up to work. So whatever. Never question a good thing. That's a big part of life. You got a good thing, eh, go with it. It'll probably maybe sort of work out. I find it a little weird that, like, melting a body wouldn't cause, like, a stink or anything, though. Like, I really do feel like that would be something that might alert people. Just the smell of a melting body? I don't know. Either way, we went breaking bad on those asses. But we didn't put them inside a rubber thing. So how come the acid eats the body, but it doesn't eat through the floor? You gonna, like, do this thing, pal? Yeah, do your job. I've got a knife. Never mess with the guy who has a knife. There we go. The room with the plans isn't far. I stop here. I don't want to be there if you start fiddling with stuff left by Quirberus. Thank you for bringing me this far. Excuse me, but, uh, what are you? Well, I mean, uh, I never had dealings with something, with someone who looks like you. Well, there ain't anyone who looks like me. That's why your mother liked me so much. Now, fuck <laughs> off. I got work to do. <laughs> This is why you have trouble with your friendship sticks. People just want to get in, they just want to get close to you, and you just, you push them away. You push them away. Save my game right here, just in case things get rowdy. And then, what do we have over here? Nothing. Any coins or anything that looks interesting? Anybody? Huh? Anybody want to give me some goodies? Nobody wants to give me any goodies. Now, there's only two coins left, so they got to be around here somewhere. It's a big room covered in glass right there. Can my clone get through here? Oh, he can. Hooray for him. I'm going to go under the desk. There we go. Let's see what my clone can do here. See what he's able to accomplish. I bet this is another puzzle for another coin. Looks like there's a fair bit of climbing to be done. All right. So that closes that door. This might be the place with the plans, though. Who knows? Looks like we can jump in here. Only the creator can unlock. Okay, that makes sense. Knife on the table. Anything else over on the other side? No, nothing on the other side. Can he poison the apples, I wonder? Or is that only something that I can do? Do they both stop right there, or are they going to keep coming? Okay, they stop right there. I'm going to despawn him so that I get the amber back, because... Running out of amber right now would be whack. And then we'll go over here. What does this do, by the way? Does this go anywhere interesting? Like... Oh. Well then. Looks like you can get up there, but I don't really see a point. Jump across to here. Which sort of, like, negates the need to do the other part, but whatever. We're moving along. And then he can open that gate right there. Okay. So that'll be cool. 
Still, missing a couple coins, so I'd hate to vacate the level without them. I mean, we've gotten most of them. It seems a shame to have, like, 28 out of 30 coins for the level. I mean, I'm sure most people would agree. I'm going to unlock this, and then what we'll do is we'll look through the door and we'll open it when we've got a minute. All right. Oh, that's a cool... I never noticed that that mechanism was there. I never noticed that. Like, there's those big hooky things that swing around and make the door look all threatening when it unlocks. If my door did that in the middle of the night, I would lose it. I don't... I don't deal with that kind of stuff well. I just be like, it's a ghost! And then I'm just, like, running around my house acting like a fool, even though I know better. Where is this guy? Okay, so there's one. He comes around back there. Hmm. This spot doesn't allow me the best visibility. I still count as concealed right here. They're eating the apples, but I don't know if a corpse from the apples will end up killing me. Like, will that end the level? I mean, I guess I could quick save and find out. We could test the theory a little bit. Alright, so we poison the apples. At which point I can come around here. And maybe, just maybe, we can make this work. He's going to go and eat an apple. It's going to take him a minute to die, so I think I can knife the other guy before anything else goes wrong. We'll find out. It's going to kind of depend. Unless the developers time that out perfectly to where he dies, like, off on the side by himself. Oh yeah, he totally does. He dies alone. That's what you get for not getting me a birthday present. Oh no. Eh. Got him. <laughs> I was ready for that to happen. I was ready. I probably could have moved that body in time, but oh well. We handled our business, and we had a replacement knife anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. I just don't like using things that can't be replaced. I would really- oh, I could have turned out that light right there, although it doesn't seem like it helps much. I mean, it's still a pretty bright room. No, we killed Heisenberg. He definitely has kind of like a Brian Cranston thing going on. He's probably just doing this horrible guard duty to help his family or something. But in the end, it destroys him. Thus the moral of the story. Hooray! Can I go all the way up there? Let's find out now that we have time to turn this into a jungle gym. I think these are just boards that you can cross. I don't actually think that there's anything useful associated with these. It is strange that we haven't seen any more coins. It's been a lot of rooms since we saw our last coin. The room with the plans is reasonably far off, though, so we'll probably be okay, right? I think this is probably right about the point that I'm going to break off the episode anyways. Wow, it is dusty out here. This is a place made out of dust. Dust, wind, and marble. That's about it. God. Alright, well my name is Splattercat, thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of Sticks, Master of Shadows. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody, and hi do. I did want to mention that if this ends up ending the level, like is this actually going to be... Let's see here. I mean, unless there's two coins in there, so there's one coin right there. I may go have a look around and see if I can find the other coin. In which case, I'll check back in with you, and we'll start the episode at the other part, and then I'll make, like, a bunch of cuts or something. I'll figure it out. See y'all later, everybody. Hi, do.